Hey everyone, Mystical Mark here. Uh, so in this video I'd like to talk about this uh, Jupiter-Uranus conjunction that's happening in Taurus on uh, April 20th. Um, so let me just pull up the chart here from my end. There we go. Alright, so we're going to have this Jupiter-Uranus conjunction here at 21 degrees of Taurus. Now, the last time that this uh, Jupiter-Uranus conjunction happened in Taurus was actually during World War II in May of 1941. So I actually took a look at some of this um, prior to um, getting ready for this video. And it is kind of interesting, I believe on the exact day that it was conjunct was when the Allies uh, got hold of, I think, one of the German weather ships to gain information on Enigma. Um, and as you all know, Enigma, or cracking Enigma, was one of the things that kind of helped the Allies win the war. Um, against the Germans. So there was, I believe on May 7th that happened, and then even two days after this conjunction at that time, there was, is when they actually captured an actual Enigma machine. Um, and then leading up to this point, to this conjunction back in 41, is when they kind of discovered flaws in Enigma, and were really kind of doing that kind of research on that. So, and what was even interesting about that chart is at that time, um, that conjunction was actually trying uh, Neptune in Virgo, Neptune retrograde in Virgo. So dealing a lot with that detail stuff, secrets behind the scenes. It was kind of a really interesting thing how all of that kind of took place. And referencing kind of this big shift that really needed to occur, but all of us saw that work kind of behind the scenes in order to, you know, help win the war in that sense. Of course, I don't really have time to go through a lot of that in this video. I just kind of want to reference that in terms of this conjunction and what previously happened during that time frame, um, just so you have like a historical reference. Um, if you want me to talk more on that or look at that chart more, just leave a comment below and maybe I'll do a video on that if I do have time. If anybody's interested, uh, we can definitely look at that. Um, however, so for this one here, April 20th, 2024, we're going to have Jupiter conjunct Uranus at 21 degrees here of Taurus. So now we're still in the eclipse window. So we're closing in on the end here. So I think in a couple days there's going to be that uh, full moon in Scorpio, which will kind of like be the end of that two weeks. So we had that new moon, and then now we've kind of got that full moon in Scorpio. So the eclipse season is kind of really done at that point in a way. Although new moon is technically new lunar months, maybe it's kind of affecting that full month. But anyways, we could be kind of out of that phase at that point. Um, so regarding this, I think whatever kind of shifts and changes that are really occurring with this conjunction will likely still be within that normal eclipse period of that stuff kind of occurring within the next five to six months. I think that's kind of what I was feeling and the guidance that was coming through is that whatever these big shifts that are trying to occur here are going to be within kind of the next five to six months. And you have to remember that eclipse at 19 degrees was semi-sextile uh, Jupiter incoming still building into conjunction with this Uranus energy, dealing with these big massive changes. And I think I talked about it in my video regarding like this fixated shift. We need to shift from one fixation to another fixation. And in that sense, I was talking about love, shifting away from this dark negative stuff and what we've all previously been fixated on into a place of love, into a place of change, into that higher shift. Uh, what's interesting about this here is that we also have this septile here to Neptune and Pisces to this conjunction. And septiles can be related to fate, things coming through from a higher realm, right? Almost like behind the scenes in a way. And I feel like Neptune and Pisces dealing a lot of with it, this behind the scenes stuff. So there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff regarding these changes, these large shifts and changes that need to occur. Um, and this is also dealing a lot with spirit guiding us as well, the universe guiding us as well through these shifts and changes and stuff happening behind the scenes, faded stuff happening behind the scenes for this to occur in a lot of ways. Uh, we do have this semi-sextile here to Chiron in Aries. So again, this is about healing, moving forward. You know, Aries is that cardinal sign, new direction, moving forward where we want to heal, where we don't want to be wounded in the same ways anymore. There's this trine here to Black Moon Lilith in Virgo. Remember, Black Moon Lilith is where we felt outcast in Virgo. It's day-to-day, -day, uh, detail-oriented stuff, 
of perfectionism, ideals of perfectionism, all that kind of like little nitpicky stuff. And it, that focuses on that as well. There's a really focus kind of on healing here. There's this biquintile to the south node in Libra. So again, this could be stuff coming up ultimately to be healed, but also to kind of be released again. It could be like, or even just the release and letting go of certain things that are no longer serving, but this is behind the scenes type energy. This is very creative work that's occurring behind the scenes to maybe leave certain old ways that are either negative or not serving us anymore in the past so that we really can make these sh big fixated shifts in changing, right? Taurus doesn't like to change. It's very stubborn, very fixated energy. So the expansion of these changes and shifts is something that may take time and like I said, is likely to take time, right? And so, but we need to make this big fixated shift from one thing to another. It's almost like that reference into World War II. That stuff didn't happen right away. Those changes didn't happen right away, but the seeds were planted at that time for that change to occur. And again, that can relate to Taurus as well, planting the seed for that growth, for that later birth of that change and shift. So I feel like there's a lot of stuff that's kind of happening behind the scenes here again. Right, there's also this sextile to Mars in Pisces. So again, I talked about this in my eclipse video. This Mars and Saturn in Pisces is that dissolution of that malefic energy. So in Mars here, the dissolution of that malefic energy still regarding these shifts and changes that need to occur and need to be made. This is also this opportunity to take action, but this is behind the scenes action. This is working behind the scenes in order for these shifts and things to occur to give birth to them um, as we move forward here. Right. And like I said, we're still working within like this five to six month time frame. Uh, Mercury is still retrograde here. Um, will come direct on the 25th, uh, basically conjunct the North Node. So again, this direction forward. So we're still in this place of review going over, but it's regarding these changes. Stuff could be coming up to be like, you know, you know what, we're, we're not going to do that anymore. Or we need to rework this, we need to rework that, and to move forward into new directions, seeing where we need to move forward in new directions, and building upon that. And these changes, like I said, there's there could be like the slow shift to this, but they are occurring. This is like faded stuff to really occur here. Um, and of course, Venus, the ruler of Taurus, is basically moving into conjunction with Chiron here uh, in Aries regarding this aspect of self, healing ourselves and moving forward in, in, into these new spaces. And just ultimately with this uh, relation of this healing aspect um, and moving in these new directions as well. So there's a big aspect of these shifts uh, and changes here that that are occurring, that do need to occur, that is faded, that spirit is helping us with, and this dissolution of this malefic energy and moving forward. And we may not see these shifts right away. We may see things kind of coming through. Uh, this could also be with this septile here, especially with Neptune here in Pisces and this dissolution of malefic energy and these destabilization or this change that kind of needs to occur here in Taurus, this, this huge shift, we could see stuff coming out like more and more stuff continuing to come out on a, a grander global scale, either about people, about institutions, governments, whatever. The thing is, all of this stuff regarding these changes that need to be made needs to be, needs to come out, needs to be released. And I think that relates to this Neptune as well, this hidden stuff, this behind the scenes stuff, and this Mars too, this malefic type of energy that's been behind the scenes that needs to be dissolved, right? And with Jupiter conjunct Uranus here, this really this destabilization of that and these, this big shift that we need to make to occur, there's almost like an awakening that maybe needs to happen in that sense to really kind of push and shift that too, but we're being helped. There's a faded aspect to this that is coming through. And with Pluto here now in Aquarius, uh, Uranus's sign, um, this is very transformative shifts, right? This is, this is, dealing with a lot of fixed energy and stuff that really needs to move and change and, like I said, be fixated in a different area. So again, this this is fitting in still, I feel, with that eclipse time frame of around uh, five to six months for these shifts and changes, right? As, you know, we're in that sign of Taurus, but there is something like that occurring, okay? All right, I am running out of time, guys. That's all I have to say for now. If you want more on this, leave a comment below, and I can do more on this, especially if you want to hear more about the World War II stuff and this last uh, Jupiter-Uranus conjunction. But that's all I have for this one. Thank you. Take care. Have a good day. Bye for now.